I see my role as something that's not a manager, not a boss, not a friend, but it's sort of all of those things at the same time. But the major function, I think, is to take the graduate student and get the best out of them that you can. And that process is not a classical management process, it's not a classical business process, and it certainly isn't um, the sort of interaction you have between two, two friends, but it's also not the sort of interaction where you can't question, uh, as a student, the boss. The boss will get it wrong. I do very regularly. Uh, only too happy when my students um, contradict me. It shows that they're in control. And there are lots of things that go with that. It means that the student has to learn the standards that the field establishes, and it's the, the supervisor's responsibility to show what that standard of analysis is. And it's not done necessarily by a formal criticism process. It's done in much better, I think, in a sort of discussion process. Um, likewise, the importance of sheer technical skills in my field is extremely important, and so there's a, there's a training aspect there as well, and an overview aspect. And then on top of that, a whole other level is you, you could be technically extremely good, very, very proficient, but if you don't know the literature, if you don't have a perception of where your work sits in a broader context, then again, that's uh, um, a deficiency that would need to be addressed. Likewise, presentational skills are extremely important.